back in Florida. I've lived in Florida for 13 years, you know, so it's great. You know, who, who would have known my first professional fight, you know, um, in Miami would be re uh, defending my undisputed world title. You know, uh, that's amazing. You know, and I'm only 23, man. And, and, and life is great, man. It's, uh, it's all about just not quitting. You know, there's times where it's hard. But I, I know in the back of my head, man, I just tell myself that, hey, I'm where I need to be now. But I know in the future, as long as I don't give up, man, I'll be somewhere that, that I'll need to be as a legendary. You know, my whole thing is about the legacy, you know, the glory. You know, all these fighters are trying to wear $200,000 chains and they only make $100,000 or $150,000. You know, so it's all about moving your money right, investing it, being smart with it. You know, and, and, and creating that where if I go out there and I want to fight, I'm fighting because I want to, not because I need to, not because I need a new check. I need, a, I need a paycheck, you know, and I learned that, you know, I learned that in 2018 when I broke my hand, you know, it's still, it's just things and, and trials and tribulations that I just go through and it's adversity. You know, people want to fight dirty and, and give me a cut in my eye and I'm like, come on, let's go. And they back out, they back down. It goes to show, man, at the end of the day, I don't care. You know, I'm a fighter, I'm a warrior, but at the end of it all, man, I'm just just someone that 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 has no fear in there. And I think they all feel it, man. All these fighters, you know, they all feel it. You know, Craw uh, Crawford, Taylor's, all of them guys, they all going to feel it. Eventually, when I when my body is fit enough to go up to 147, those guys will get the work, too. You know, at the moment right now, it's at 35. Slowly but surely, I'll move up little by little. And these guys will feel it. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody scared of nobody. I ain't scared of nobody. <laughs> What's up, boxing family? It's Paul Connor Boxing coming at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing mind. Here we just listen to Teofimo Lopez go on about how he wants Taylor, Josh Taylor, and Terrence Crawford. I mean, the young man, he is, he has a lot of talent. He has a lot of athletic ability. But come on, I mean, have you ever seen such gas? Have you ever seen such bullshit? Now he's he only want to fight the top level guys, and he hasn't even proven himself all the way at 35. He still has unfinished business. So how is he going to call out Josh Taylor? You know, didn't he just watch Josh Taylor dismantle Jose Ramirez did he not see that and he's he won't even fight Devin Haney now that should tell you a lot you think Devin Haney is beneath you you don't want to fight him because he could derail your career 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 right so you want to go up and fight Josh Taylor thinking you're going to get a big money bag. But what if you just get your ass toe up? What about that? You go up and try to fight Crawford, you're going to get your ass toe up. And that's something, that's not something I'm guessing about. That's something I know. And I saw, and I think we all saw the skills of Josh Taylor. I mean, don't get me wrong. Teofimo Lopez is good, but we've heard he's gotten knocked out by sparring partners, right? I mean, I don't know what happened in Josh Taylor camps, and I don't know what happened in Terrence Crawford camps, but I'm pretty sure they're not getting dropped by sparring partners, right? So I am a fan of Teofimo Lopez, and I know a lot of people bullshit when they say that, but his um, arrogance is beyond the pale. It's beyond the pale. You know, if he think he's just going to walk around from weight class to weight class, only fighting the undisputed and the top champions, well, have at it, house. But something tells me that you're going to be out of boxing quicker than you think. Because really, dude, you still have a lot of work to do. You haven't proven yourself at the weight class you're in, and you already are trying to trash other champions and trying to move up and talk shit to them. You know, 
we all know that you're coming down from 160. So, but do you really think that you're going to be able to leapfrog across all these uh, weight classes like you're Canelo or somebody? All I'm saying, kid, you got a lot to learn in weight classes and and skills mean something in each division. So those are my thoughts. This has been like, subscribe to my videos. This has been Pool Kind of Boxing, and I'll come back at you with another one.